So we'll see who's going to start out on Bosla here. The Senators are going to have to play some really good defense if they're going to win this game. The Senators are coached by Quentin Sullivan. Your Indiana High School Athletic Association official this evening, Mr. Mike Wright. Mr. Brent Wendt Williamson and Mr. Mike Fines. Looks like Bosley will be tipping against Jake Strange here for this tip off. And the Rams will control the tip. Will be Patton bringing it up. He's guarded by Hofler. Patton's going to go left side. He's going to look for somewhere to go. Looking for Bosley down low. Looks like it looks like Bosley will start out on him. Bosley tries to get inside, gets in the paint, puts up the shot. It's no good off the backboard. Rebounded by Parker Green. This is it to number one holding Bosley. Looks like the true the freshman Rominger will be guarding Holden Bosley right here. Bosley goes right, gets it off to Hopler. They're going to call an illegal screen here. It was on 22 Kenton Chase. Looks like he may have caught somebody under underneath the basket and couldn't get out to Hopler there. Now Patton will bring it back up. Patton goes right side for Bosley. Bosley faked the pass inside, kicks it back over for Patton. Patton goes to Roman during the corner. He's going to step it back out, looking for Bosley down low, gets it down to him. Bosley turns, puts it up, got it to go. That's Bosley's first two of the game. Bosman's going to get a screen here from Strange. He gets all the way to the basket. Tries to kick it back out. will be knocked out of bounds and will stay with the Senators. Very good defensive play there by Bosley, not letting Bosman kick it over for potentially an easy layup. Green taken out. He's going to toss it in for Hofler. It's over his head and out of bounds. Rams will take possession. like Bosley will bring it out here. He's going to give it off into Patton. Patton's going to give it off to Rominger. He kicks it over to Bosley. Bosley throws it right down low for Patton. Misses the layup. Rominger comes soaring in for the rebound. Gets it. Goes in the post on Chase. Puts up the shot and it's good. That gives the Rams an early 4 to nothing lead. Bosley with now. He's going to get a screen. Get inside. This time he kicks it out for Chase. Chase now goes inside. He puts up a shot. It's blocked away. Good defensive play there by Moon. Now Patton brings it up. Throws it right down low. Puts up a shot. It's blocked oh. away there. Patton will take it out. He's going to toss it up to the top of the key. Moon's going to give it off. Now ball in the corner. Patton dribbles back out, gives it off to Rominger now. Bosley with it. We're going to give it off to Rominger now on the right side. Coming back up is Patton. Swings back across. Looks like the Rams just running a bit of a motion offense. A lot of cutting. Oh. Bosley gets in the paint. They're going to call travel on him. Holden Bosley will bring the ball up the court. Bosman gets it across, going to give it off to Chase on the right wing. Chase looking down for Strange, but just couldn't get it to him. Now gives it off to Green near half court, gives it off to Bowsman now. Here goes Bowsman, gets inside, and blocking foul will be called. Foul was on 20, Cornette McBride. They get the ball in the strange. Now they hand it off. Green puts up the three-pointer. It's no good. Rebounded by Rominger. Rominger gives it off. Now he's going to get it back. Gives it off to Bosley on the left side. Bosley gets it back to the middle. He's going to give it back off. And now the ball is swung it for the corner. I'll kick it back out to Rominger. Paoli trying to just find a good shot, not trying to force anything. 
Now Roman just got it on the left side. He goes one on one against Chase. Good defense there. He's gonna have to kick it back out. Haley's still looking for getting the ball to the post. They have a lot of cuts going down there. Bosley puts up a three pointer. It's no good. Rebounded by Parker Green for the Senators. And we'll bring it all the way up. He's gonna give it off to Bowsman on the near the top of the key. He gets the screen goes aside. Good shot there by Warren Holden Bowsman, his first two of the game. Now ball's thrown down low, it's knocked out of bounds, and we'll stay with the Rams. Nash Huff will be checking in for Kent and Chase. And then for the Rams, we'll have 34 Sawyer Livingston coming in for 22 John Moon. <laughs> Rams get it in for Bosley. Bosley's gonna give it off to Livingston up top. Now it's swung back over for Rominger. Rominger gets a screen, gets inside, kicks it right back out, almost a takeaway there for the Senators. Bosley down low. And he, good move there, just getting right by Bowsman and gets the layup to go. And number one, Holm Bowsman will be bringing it up for the Senators. Bowsman's gonna try to go right, spins back middle, picks up his dribble and just throws it right into Bosley's hands. Bosley now trying to dribble all the way Ball is saved there, and now it's swung up top for Patton. Livingston thought about a three. He's going to give it back to Patton. Swings it back over. Now Livingston back Ball with swung it. Swung about, Bosley. See. Looking down low for Bosley. They get it to him. He goes down, puts up the shot, and gets it to go. Good move there. He's all, all the way up to six points. We'll be just a 30 second timeout, so we'll stay here with the Rams on top, 8 to 2, with Brett Bosley scoring 6 of the 8, and the other 2 going to Trey Rominger. Then for the Senators, the 2 points belong to Holden Bowsman. Senators might even have to start double teaming Bosley. They have, they have probably Senators' best defender and Holden Bowsman on him, but. Kind of just getting right by him. Yep, getting the ball down low, and Bosley standing at 6'6", six, six, and then Holden standing at about 6'1", six, 6'2". Six, so we'll see how the Senators can respond here. Going to have to put up some more points to get back to get back like where they want to be. Number one, Holden Bowsman will, will bring it up for the Senators. Bowsman will get a screen from Strange. He doesn't use it. Goes left side. Gives it off to Strange up top. Now Green with it. He's going to get the screen. Looking for the rolling Strange. He gets it down low. Kicks it back out to the corner. And they're going to say that was going to stand on the out of bounds line. So we'll go back over to the Rams. Patton will bring it up for the Paley Rams. Like Patton will take it to the right side. Now he's going to dribble left handed off for Roman Greer. Umgur gives it off for Livingston, now into the corner for Bosley. Now a screen comes, Bosley throws it right down low, good pass, shot is just no good there by Cornette McBride. Hopefully gets the rebound, gives it off to Bowsman, he takes it the other way, gives it off to Green. Green now tries to get inside, steps back, has to give it off to Strange, now Bowsman back with it, dribbling inside, and now hopefully with it up top. And now Bosley, Bosley just gets still. around. Up, up, um, up, the court to... Patton and Patton will score. Now the Rams jump up to a 10 to 2 lead. Bowsman with it. He's looking for Hofler on the right side. Gets it to him. Looking down low. Bowsman now gets down low. Swings it back out the strain. Puts up the shot about the elbow. And it is no good in and out. And Romago will get it and he'll push it the other way. Now Livingston with it. He's going to give it off to Bosley. Bosley goes inside and just throws it out of bounds. Miscommunication there by Bosley and Rominger. Pele Rams are up eight with two with two minutes left in the first quarter. Number one, Holden Bosley will bring it up. Bosley will get to the middle of the court. A lot of screens happening. Down low for Green now. He's going to give it to Strange in the low in the short corner. Now it's swung all the way back out. Now Strange comes up to set a screen for Bowsman. He's going to get all the way to the basket. Good move, but just can't get the finish. 
Now Livingston with the rebound. He'll push it the other way. Gives it off for Patton now. Now Bosley with it on the left side. Now it's swung back up top. So the Rams definitely taking a slower approach to their offensive sets. Now Bosley puts up the shot and he gets it to go. They're going to have to figure out something to stop Bosley. Bowsman's going to give it off for Green. Now Huff with it. Gives it off to Bowsman. Bowsman's going to go right side. Get all the way to the basket. Kicks it out. Huff puts up a three-pointer, and he got it to go. Maybe that will get him started. Senators are now only trail by seven. 45 seconds to go in the first. Romager will get it on the right side. He's going to give it off for Patton. Patton Back to goes Bosley. Back. Looks like the Rams might be trying to go for a last shot here. Just not really looking for anything right here. Just trying to waste some time. Going to give it off. Romager now has it on the right side. Gives it to Bosley. 20 seconds to go. Bosley with it up top. He's going to hand it off to Patton. Now just 10 seconds on the clock. Patton's going to get a screen. He's going to give it off to Romagra all the way up top. Now they get it down low for Bosley with three on the clock. He gets the shot to go. That's now Bosley will put up the, the full court shot, and it is no good. May not have even got it off in time. So that will be the end of the first quarter where the Senators trail 14-5, to and Brett Bosley already with double figures here in the first quarter. We'll now go to a commercial break, and we'll come back through the second quarter. In 2012, the Washington County Community Foundation began working on its next big initiative, Education Matters. The goal of Education Matters is to increase the educational attainment of adults residing in our county. The initial focus has centered on adults with some college and no degree. With the assistance of scholarships and a peer mentoring program, the foundation began helping adults return to college to complete their degree or obtain a certification in 2013. Realizing that strength lies in numbers, Washington County partnered with Clark, Floyd, Harrison, and Scott counties to create Education Matters Southern Indiana. This initiative continues to build. Welcome back to the Senator West Washington Senators versus the vis visiting Paoli Rams. It's 14 to 5, Senators Trail. Second quarter. Let's see if the Senators can get something to figure out to stop Bosley. Bosley they, already in double figures. They took Bosley Bosley out. Sure. Bowsman gets all the way basket and he gets the lift to go. I believe 42 Carson Little checked into the game. Patton will bring it up. Now Patton's got it near half court. Looks like the Senators might be in a 2-3 zone now. Patton kicks it across for Livingston. Now kicks it back up top. Swings it across for Rominger. Now into the corner for Little. Little goes in the short corner. Kicks it back out for Patton. Swinging across. Livingston for three. It's no good. Rebound in my Nash Huff. Good job there by Huff getting getting like in position there with the long rebound. Now Bowsman gets a screen. He gets all the way to the basket and gets the layup to go. Now Bowsman up with six points. Bosley will be checking in for Rominger. Now Patton will bring it up. Looks like Sinners will stay in their 2-3 zone. Patton goes right. Pass is knocked away. Will be the Rams ball. Look like Bowser may have knocked it off Livingston there, but they'll keep it with the Rams. Now Patton with it near half court. Gives it off to Bosley on the left side. He throws it down low for Little. Good pass down low. 
Life is just no good there. Rebounded by Jacob, Jake Strange. Bowsman now with it. He's going to give it off to Hofler on the left side. Now in the corner for Huff. They throw it down low. Strange with it. Guard by Little. Puts up the shot. It's no good. Too strong. Bosley with the rebound. And he'll push it the other way. Livingston now with it. Gives it back to Bosley. And now swung across for Patton. Now I go back over for Livingston. Throws it into the high post. Puts up the shot. It's no good. And they're going to call a foul. So Bosley will go to the line for two shots after shooting that shot from about the elbow. I think that they're trying to double team Bosley there. Yep. Look like on the 2-3 zone, they kind of both from the top and from like Jake in the middle tried to double team him there at the top. Nick Brody will check in. For Livingston. I believe Bosley has 13 points already in this game. That next shot is good. Now it looks like the Rams have gone to a press. The Senators got it up the court. Now Huff's got it. He's going to dribble it to the middle of the court. Thought about a three. Bowsman now with it, gets inside, kicks it into the corner for Green. Green tries to go baseline, has to pick up a shrivel, gives it off to Huff inside. It's knocked away. Bosley with it on the ground. He's going to travel, rolling to his back. It's now 40, Trey Rominger and 34, Sawyer Livingston both come into the game. Coming in for Moon and Little. Green's going to toss it in for Hofler up top. Gives it off to Huff, and Huff almost threw it away there, but it's knocked out of bounds by Bosley. Parker Green will be taken out, taking it out for the center. He'll just get it into Bowsman near half court. Bowsman dribbles it to the middle, throws it inside for Green, kicks it back out. Hopefler puts up a three-pointer, and it is no good off the side of the rim, but an offensive rebound and the putback by one Holden Bowsman. He's up to eight points on the game. Rommager now with it. He's going to swing it over for Patton. Now Bosley's got it on the right side. Nash Huff is trying to guard Bosley. They throw it down low. Rommager's life is good. That puts him at four points on the game. And Holden, and, uh, Holden Bowsman will bring it up for the Senators. Bowsman gives it off. Huff thought about a three. He's going to now throw it inside. Tipped away, but recovered by the Senators. Bowsman now puts up a three-pointer, and he got it. Bosley now up for 11 points. Bosley now gets inside. Good pass, and the layup is good there by 20. Cornette McBride. Now Bosley will bring it back up. Bosley guard by Rominger. He's going to give it off for Hofler on the left side. Hopefully now gives it off to Strange up top. Strange kicks it over for Bowsman. May have had Hopefler cutting in, but now Bowsman drives inside, kicks it out from Strange. Now Strange will dribble back up top, bounce pass inside, and his foul will be called as they try to get the ball inside for Parker Green. It was on 20, Cornette McBride. Senators troll by six with 417 in the second half. 42. Carson Little will check back into the game. And for the Senators, 22, Kenton Chase, and 23, Brandon Fleck come into the game. For Nash Huff and Lane Hofer. Parker Green will take it out underneath the basket. Get it into Holden Bowsman. Back to Parker. Now ball is just thrown away, and it'll be out of bounds. So we'll go back over to the Rams. It looks like Patton will be, will be bringing it up. Pat will take it to the left side. Looks like the centers have gone back to man-to-man. Fleck -to -man. guarding him. Livingston now thought about a three. He's now going to give it off to Little on the left side. Looks like Holden Bosman might be trying to face guard Bosley, trying not to even let him get the ball. He does get it now up top. Gives it off for Patton instantly. Now Bosley's got... The ball in the post. He's good pass there. Rominger just drops the ball, goes right through his hands. 
Another turnover there. Hold on, Basil, we'll be bringing it up for the Senators. Senators only trail by six now. Green with it. Gives it off for Chase up top. Chase is going to give it off for Bowsman. Bowsman looking inside. He's going to drive inside. Gets to the basket. Puts up a shot. It's no good. Fluck almost got in there to get the rebound, but it just got knocked away. And now Bosley brings it up. Kicks it ahead for Patton. Thought about a three. Inside for Little. Little then again thought about a shot there at the free throw line. Now Romager goes into the post. Puts up the shot. It is no good. He'll be rebounded by 23 Brandon Fleck, and he'll give it off for Bowsman. Now Bowsman with it. He's got 11 of the 14 points. The other for Nash Huff who hit a three earlier. Bowsman gets a screen from Strange, gets inside, gives it out for Green. Goes, puts up a shot at about the elbow. No good off the front of the rim, rebounded by Little. And Bosley will be bringing it up. Dishes it to Patton. Patton will now get the ball to the middle of the court. Gets a screen from Little, steps back. Fluck all over him, gives it off to Livingston up top. Goes back, now they get the ball into the post, into the short corner. Bosley just steps back, puts up a shot, it's no good. Will be rebounded by 23 Fleck and he'll give it off for Bowsman. Looks like Bowsman will try to get the ball in the middle. He's gonna give it off for Green on the right side into the corner for Fleck. Fleck looking down low, throws it down low to Strange. He gets it, good up and under move, puts up a shot and oh. one. Good move there by 32 Jake Strange. Senators only down four in the second quarter with 2.06. 12 Parker Green will come out. 20 Lane hopefully checked into the game. So now Jake Strange will have a chance to make it just a one possession game here with this free throw. Will be no good, hit it off the front of the rim. Patton will br we'll bring the ball up. Patton will go to the right side and give it off to Livingston. Livingston throws it into the corner. Now Patton tries to get it to Bosley and does. Goes inside and just gets the shot to go. Another good move by him. I believe he's up to 16 points now in the game. They're going to have to find a way to stop Bosley here. Black will now give it off to the right side for Bowsman. Osmond's going to get inside. Stop, puts up a shot. It is no good. Rebounded by Bosley. Osmond will now bring it up slowly for the Rams. Almost pulled it right there. Right, getting, As soon as he got down, almost shot a three. Now he's got the ball in the corner. He's going to go around Bowsman, gets inside, and misses the layup. But then an offensive rebound from Moon kicks it out. Livingston misses a three and will be rebounded by the Senators, but it's got to be saved, and Strange gets it. And now a foul will be called as somebody tried to swipe away and get the ball from 32 Jake Strange. That was on Livingston. It was just his first foul. 23, Br Brenda Fleck will be taking it out. Gets it in to Bowsman. Bowsman will take it to the left side. He's going to get a screen from Hofler. And then he just throws it back to Hofler, but it's going to be taken away. Patton gets all the way to the basket. Good Euro step and gets the layup. So now Bowser will bring it back up after that turnover. Just 35 seconds to go in the second quarter. Senators are going to have to figure something out on defense if they want to try to stay in this game. Looks like the Rams have gone into a 3-2 zone. Maybe even a 2-2-1. It looks like the Senators are trying to get a last second shot here before before we hit halftime. Chase with it. He's going to swing it back over for Bowsman. Only 10 seconds left. I wonder if they can get a shot off. Seven on the clock now. Gives it in the corner for Hofler. Lose the ball. They wanted a double dribble call. One second. Holden puts up a shot and it's no good. So that will be the end of the second quarter where the Rams lead 24 to 16 with Brett Bosley, I believe, having 16 of those 24 points. So we'll now go to a couple of breaks and then we'll come back for the second half.
Bishop Seed is more than just seed sales. They're a multifaceted business. Owner Brady Bishop is a channel seedsman who knows your fields and can recommend an elite product designed to perform in your area and maximize the profitability of every acre on your farm. Bishop Seeds also offers chemical sales for the ever-expanding chemical industry and a variety of cover crops to help keep erosion down and yield up. They also offer climate field view so you can make a data-driven decision to maximize the return on every acre. Reach out and give Brady a call at 812-620-4624. It's time for the Commissioner's Corner, an exclusive weekly conversation about Indiana high school sports with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. Now for an up-to-the-minute report about what's happening in the constantly changing world of high school sports, here's Coach Bob Lovell with Commissioner Paul Neidig. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Bob Lovell with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. This is our weekly conversation about all things IHSAA-related. Commissioner... You know, occasionally I throw out those lines like, gosh, you guys are really busy, a lot going on. Uh, this week, you guys are really busy. <laughs> There's a lot going on. You have sectionals, uh, you have uh, swimming, you have wrestling, you have, if I left anything out, you have a lot going on this weekend. I know, isn't it great? It I mean, is. It's just, it's, it is. We've got uh, you know a lot going on, just getting after it here in the office with uh, their tournaments, preparations, and you know last weekend we had a great weekend with wrestling that kicked mm -hmm. off with the uh, boys sectionals across the state, and I'm happy to report that we have winners and they're advancing to the next round. As they say, they're punching their ticket <laughs> to the tournament, and you know they're so they're prepared to come in here and they're going to wrestle regional this weekend in the state as they march towards their date at Banker's Life in the next couple of weeks. Right, but right. yeah, we've got we kick off girls swimming and diving tonight across the state. We 64 girls basketball sectional start tonight. You know, it's their tournament time season 2, so to speak. Everybody's undefeated today in the in the basketball world and and they're ready to make their quest for a state championship. I'm struck at this time of year uh, and at this point in my life with thinking about the tournament. And I want you to Stop being a commissioner for a second and think back when you were in school, what the sectional meant to you and your friends and your family. I mean, we have vivid memories of that, do we not, even after all these years? You know, Bob, some things as time goes on, they become a little duller and grayer in memories, but not playing in that high school sectional. I remember 1981, long time ago, the old <laughs> Princeton High School gym. Uh, you know, I got to put my school uniform on and go in there and play. And, you know, those memories just stay with you and the memories of your teammate, the words of your coaches. You know, I can, my coach was a guy named Herb McPherson and, you know, him guiding us through that right, season and right. getting ready to play. And then we certainly did, we didn't win the sectional, but you know what? We were prepared to win the sectional and, and those things just stick with you the rest of your life. And, and you know, you remember a few things. Yeah. That day you <laughs> yeah. got married and the, your children are being born and, and things, but man, you sure remember playing in, in a basketball sectional too and then i'm sure that goes for every kid that oh, participates at absolutely. the level across the state in all of our sports and the kids who were in, in the wrestling sectional and all that i mean i i can remember as a 15 year old kid at plainfield high school leaving school jumping on the bus driving to brownsburg for practice and then we were fortunate to win the sectional my sophomore year and my senior year but then you know making that same trip instead of going to brownsburg going to hinkle practicing for the regionals are you kidding me i mean how do you how do you not remember things like that you do i mean they're all just good stuff you know it's formative it uh and just it's a good thing well uh and covid we're, we're handling all of that too everyone's good we are you know unfortunately as we experienced in the fall mm -hmm. uh, a few teams have had uh, close contact yeah. at the wrong time and we've had a you know a handful of girls basketball teams that are not going to make the curtain call here for mm. the uh, the tournament you know that'll happen and we understand that we hate it right we don't like it it's just part of the times we find ourselves in and 
the good news is the vast majority of teams across this state are going to get to play, but the bad news is we're going to leave one or two behind or a handful behind, and we certainly just hate that for the student-athletes. We absolutely do. Paul Knighting is the commissioner of the IHSAA. It's a huge week. Uh, Tournaments beginning, uh, continuing around our state. Get out and support the student-athletes in your local school. Enjoy it, <laughs> and and please be safe, everyone, and uh, we'll be with you next week. Paul, good luck to you and the staff and the uh, schools. We'll talk about it uh, next, week, next week in much more detail. Thanks so much for your time. Looking forward to the call, Bob, and thank you very much for the opportunity to talk to Indiana today. Thank you. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to The Commissioner's Corner with IHSAA Commissioner Paul Neidig and Coach Bob Lovell. And thank you for your continued support of the high schools in your community. Welcome back to the West Washington Senators versus the Paley Rams, uh, 24 to 16. About to start the second half here. We'll go over some 
unofficial stats. Not sure if these are exactly right, but I believe Brett Bosley was 16. Patton's got two. Cornette McBride with two. And I believe Trey Rominger's got four. For the Senators, Holden Bosman up to 11 points. Nash Huff with three and Jake Strange with two. So we'll see if the Senators come out with any different defensive ideas here to try to stop Bosley. Yeah, they're going to have to do something to stop him. Looks like both teams return with their original starting five. Looks like Bosley will bring it up. Bosley's still on him. They're going to give the ball off right for Moon. And I'll swing back up top, Patton with it. Now I kick it off to the left wing for Rominger. Rominger swings it across for Cornette McBride. Now Bosley with it, gives it off. Paoli Rams taking their time here, looking for a good shot. They've been doing it the whole game, and I think it's kind of working for them. Now they're off onto the right wing, kicks it up top, swings it across. Patton's going to give it back off. Bosley now with it. He's going to try to get to the basket, dribbles it back out, hands it off. Now Patton's got the ball. Rominger gives it up top. Now Bosley with it. Bosley gets the screen, pulls up for three. No good. Will be rebounded by Parker Green. He gives it off to Bowsman. Bowsman gives it off to Chase on the right side. Trying to throw it down low. For Nowhere to go to Chase. Gets uh, it to Jake. Jake goes up. Oh, what a foul. Foul called. So Strange will go to the line for two shots here. Pretty sure the foul was on Bosley. Foul on number 10, Brent Bosley. Yep. Second. Let's see if Jake can get these. To start them on something for the second half. Could make it just a two possession game with both these free throws. Okay. First one's good. See if Jake can get the second one to go for him. Second one Jake is gets them both to go. Pat brings it up. Got about Lane Hofer. Patton looks left, gives it off for Rominger. Now gives it off again for McBride. Now swings it across. Ball's now in with Rominger. Now swung up top. Thought about a three pointer was Cornette McBride. Now swinging it back across. Now Moon with it on the left side. Moon gives it up top for Patton. Patton now throws it down low for Bosley. Instant double team, and he just gets inside, misses the layup though, gets Gets blocked away. They're going to call a foul. I think it was on 22 Kenton Chase. And oh, now we'll no. see Bosley for the, to the line. It was on 12 Parker Green, actually. So Bosley with two shots here. Chance to make the lead up to eight. Bosley gets the first one to go. Let's see if he can get this one to go. Bosley gets them both to go. Bowsman will bring it up. Bosley up to 18 points now. You got to figure out a way to stop Bosley. Green's now with it. He gives it off for Hopeless. Swung across. They get the ball down low for Strange. Jake Strange trying to make a move. Gets inside, misses a shot. Ball is now knocked around, but Rominger controls it, and he gives it off for Bosley, who kicks it ahead to Patton. Patton now throws it inside, going in, up for a shot, but then kicks it right back out. Rominger now with it up top, gives it off to the right side for Moon. Moon's going to toss down low, but it's going to be kicked by 12 Parker Green. I think he was trying to get it to Bosley down low. Now that now they get down to Bosley, instant double team, but he get just gets that shot to go. Bosley's bo both of most of Bosley's shot have been down low, so they're gonna have to contain him down low. But he can't shoot. Well he's up to twenty points on the game now. Another kickball violation. That one was for twenty Cornette McBride. Parker Green will take it out. Looking for somewhere to go. Throws Finally it in gets for it into Bowsman. Spin move. Shot is no uh, good. 
It will be knocked around, be out of bounds, and they'll say it will be the Senator's ball. Now that's going to be taken away. Bosley with it. He's going to try to push it ahead behind the back, gets inside, and just gets the shot to go. Another amazing move. He's up to 22. Bowsman now will bring it up. Senators trail by 12. About a little over five minutes to go in the third quarter. Chase now with it, throws it in the corner. Now Green with it, just gets it blocked away, gets his own miss. Now Hopler puts up the shot and he got it to go. Lane Hopler getting his first two points. Now we'll have a full timeout called by the Senators. So we're gonna go to a quick commercial break. Lynx Clothing and Shoes carries a wide variety of items from name brand clothing and shoes to sports apparel and sporting goods. We offer custom screen printing and embroidery, free gift wrapping alternations and layaway. Our hours are Monday through Thursday, 9 to 5.30, Friday 9 to 6, and Saturday 9 to 5. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and are a family owned and operated business. Stop by and see us today, 812-883-4154. back to the West Washington Senators versus the Paley Rams. Uh, exactly five minutes to go, 30 to 20. Senators trail by 10. Let's see if they, the Senators can figure something out to stop Bosley here. I haven't been able to contain him all night. Pretty sure Bosley's got more points than the Senators' entire team does as of right now. But now it looks like the Senators are in a 2-2-1 press. Let's see if they can stop them from getting up the court and scoring. Rumberger gets it across half court. He's going to give it off for Patton. They broke the press pretty easily. Now it looks like Senators are back in a 2-3 zone. Wasn't a lot of pressure there on the press, just trying to have have the Rams just make a bad pass. Now swinging it across, looking inside, they got two post players working down low. Now ball swung into the corner for Rominger, swings it back out for Patton. Patton gives it back to Rominger. Now they throw it inside, kicks it back out. Bosley puts up the shot, it is good. Bosley, I believe, has 24 points right now. They cannot contain Bosley. Now it looks like the Rams have gone into a zone. Looks like 3-2 zone with Bosley up top in the middle. Hopefully thought about a three. Goes it down low for Green. He puts up a shot. A foul will be called, so he'll go to the line for two shots. First shot by Green is up and good. Carson Little now checks into the game, coming in 420. Cornette McBride. <clears throat> Green's second shot is up and good. You got them both to go. Making it just a 10 point game. Center is still in there, 2 2 1. Bosley gets in the middle for Patton. Patton gives it back to Bosley. Bosley tries to go inside, picks it, steps back at about the elbow. Now he brings it all the way back near half court. Picks it over for Patton now. Patton guard by Chase in this 2-3 zone. Swings it back up top, kicks it all the way across. Bosley puts up a three-pointer, and he got that one to go. He can also shoot, he's not just a down low, man. Our ball swung across. Bowsman tries to go inside. He's going to have to kick it back out. Senators are trying to looking for a good shot to take. Chase dishes it to Hofler. He's going to get it back and go to the right side. Now he gives it back over for Hofler. Dishes it to Parker. 
Parker will give it back to number one, Bel Bolden Belton. Bousman is going to dribble right side, throws it in inside, pass is knocked away, Strange gets it, kicks Bolden back out. with the three. No, no good. good. Rebounded Rebound by, by Patton. Patton. He'll bring it up. Kicks it off to the right side for Bosley. And he just throws one down. That was probably the best dunk I've ever seen in a high school basketball game. What a play right there. I believe he might be up into the 30s now. Stat sheet's completely full for him, so it's kind of tough to tell as Lane Hopler knocks down a three. Hopefully it's now up to five points. I thought that, that that Brett would slam it tonight. Now ball is being heavily guarded by Holden Bowsman. I swing it back, and now it's all the way up top. Patton with it. He's guarded by Hopefully in this 2-3 zone. Rominger now with it. Kicks it back across for Patton, and now into the, into the corner. They throw it down low for Bosley, and he tries to toss it. Back to Romager, but another miscommunication just out of bounds. Nash Hoff will be checking in for number 22, Kent Chase. And then for the Rams, we have 34, Sawyer Livingston coming in for 22, John Moon. Thousand brings it up. Looks like the Rams may have gone back to man to man. Now Bowsman with it, he's just gonna get into the paint, puts up the shot, and cannot get it to go. Rolls all the way around the rim and just falls off. Bosley now brings it up, pulls, oh, pulls up. up. No good off front of the rim. May not have been the best shot selection right Rebounded there. Rebounded by 32, Jacob, Jake Strange. Bowsman now with it, picks up the dribble, gives it off to Huff on the left side. Back to Bowsman. Gives it off to Hofler. Hofler throws it down low for Strange. Instant double team. Ball's kicked all the way into the corner now. Three pointer is good by Parker Green. There's a little collision down there, but thankfully Bowsman is going to get out there and give it to Parker for a three. Parker Green now with five points on the game. Bosley now has got it inside. Kicks it back out. Now he's going to hand it off for Patton. Senators trail by nine here with about 50 seconds in the third quarter. Patton with it near the logo. Gives it. Off to Romager and now gets it back. Might see the Rams go for the last shot here, just passing it back and forth. Kind of looking for a open man, or just throwing it around to get a good shot at the last second. Now down to 25 seconds in the quarter. Bosley with it here. Gives it back to Romager. Get Romager dishes it to Patton. Patton gives it off to Bosley. Just now 10 seconds, might see them go for something here. Patton with it, he's gonna dribble it to the right side, gives it to Livingston up top. Who Back to Rominger. Rominger throws it inside, Patton puts up the shot, it's good off the off the back of the rim and that will be the end of the third quarter. I believe Patton's got four points now. So that'll be the end of the third quarter with the Senators down 11. So we'll go to a commercial break and come back for the fourth. The recent market vitality has affected just about everybody's financial and investment situations. So if you're planning on retiring soon, will it still be possible? Of course, with many people's jobs being affected by the coronavirus pandemic, your retirement plans may have been thrown into confusion. But assuming your employment is stable, you'll need to review your retirement goals and progress you've made towards achieving them so you can determine what moves, if any, you need to make. Then ask yourself some questions. For starters, are you flexible enough to make some changes to your retirement lifestyle? If you can find a way to make it less costly, you may not need to change your current investment strategy significantly. Also, if necessary, are you willing to work longer than you had originally projected so that you can put more money into your IRA or 401k? Here's another question. When should you take Social Security? The longer you wait, the bigger your monthly payments. Even in the midst of uncertainty, you still have choices. Consider them carefully and make the decision that works for you. For more information, contact Edward Jones Financial Advisor, Ryan Kemp at 812-620-5604, member SIPC. Welcome back to the West Washington Senators versus the Paling Rams. It's 39 to 28 in the fourth quarter with exactly eight minutes to go. Hopefully the Senators can figure something out. 
Green with it, dishes it off to Hofler. Back to Bow, um, gives it, dishes it off to Bowsman. Bowsman driving. Oh, couldn't get, couldn't, couldn't finish. Livingston will get the rebound. He'll push it the other way. Gives it off to Patton, all the way up top. Bowsman a little mad it. about the call. Looks like Bosley's not in the game right now. Might be a chance for the Senators to get back in it right here. Looks like the Senators change back to man-to-man -man now. Patton went it up top, gives it off to Livingston. Livingston looking for somewhere to go. Takes a few dribbles, throws it right to Holden. Bowser will push it the other way, gets all the way to the basket, and gets the layup to go. Patton will bring it up for the Rams. Looks like the Rams are trying to set something up. I think B Bosley will be checking in again. Little with it. He's so gonna give it off up top. Kicks it back across for Livingston. Now ball's on the ground, but Little gets it. Little's gonna go right. Falls to the ground, keeps the dribble alive. Dis Dishes it off for Cornette McBride. Now it's back over for Livingston. Livingston gives it back. Now back with Livingston on the right side. He's guarded heavily by Hopler. Gives it off. Livingston gives it off to Patton. Patton guarded by Huff. Back, back to Livingston. Livingston looking for somewhere to go again. Still guarded by Hofler. Goes. Dishes it off to Little. Little guarded heavily by Jake Strange. Looks like Senators are trying to go for a steal here. Playing really heavy defense. They're only down by nine now. Now a double team comes. Ball swung into the corner. Another Trap double team. Trap in the corner. It's going to be thrown away we'll, again. Hold on, we'll get it. He misses the layup. Had a very good look right there. Just could not finish the layup. I've had a couple of those. A fast break, but couldn't finish. The 30-second 30 30 timeout now will be called. 10, Brett Bosley coming back into the game. And 40, Trey Rominger. So Senators only trail by 9 now. Could have really used that layup right there. Could have cut it all the way to 7. We're under 6 minutes to go. So not a lot of time to do much. Gonna need to knock down some shots and play some good defense. I believe Boss is up into the 30s now for his point total. I don't think anybody else on Pale even has five points. Bosley's definitely the, their star player. I believe he's going to college at Indiana State, is what I heard. I wonder if he can go past that. Bosley will be taking it out. Probably get it into Patton. Patton will bring it up. Senators might be back in the 2 3 zone. Actually, it might be, might be a box and one just with Holden just Patton, guarding Bosley. Rominger now with it on the right side. Gives it off for Cornette McBride. Patton with it, gives it back. Bowsman is trying to guard Bosley pretty good here, and Jake's trying to stay with him too. Rominger now with it. Bowsman trying to cut off Bosley so he can't get open. Patton now with it, throws it in the middle for Bosley. He turns, puts up the shot, and it's no good. But an offensive rebound, that's not what you wanted to see for the Senators. Good pass down low. It's blocked away, and now Roman goes up again, and he gets that one to go. He's up to six points. Now Bowser will bring it up. Under five minutes to go, down by 11. He's going to hand it off for Parker Green, gives it off to Hofler, swings it across. Huff puts up a three in the corner. No oh, good. Patton will get the rebound. He'll take it up. Just about four and a half minutes to go in the in the fourth quarter. Rominger with it. He gives it off up top. Patton Ram now with it. Rams are trying to get a good shot. Or just trying to move the ball around just to. The time is on their side. Under four and a half minutes to go and with the 11 point lead. Senators are going to have to really pick up the defensive intensity and probably have to force a few turnovers. Definitely can't give up any offensive rebounds like that last possession. May even start pressing, maybe. Ball's now back up top, four minutes to go. They tried to press last time, but it didn't work. And then a miscommunication leaves wide open man. No John Noon with easy layup. No one could really tell Bowsman where he was. 
Osmond dribbles it off his leg, but he gets it back right near the sideline. Gives it off to... Ball's now down low. Strange, Strange. puts up the shot, and, and he got it. Good. Time out by the Senators. Kim Chase will be checking in. The Senators. We'll be a full timeout, so we'll go to a quick commercial break. As your American Family Insurance agent, Michael Long can offer you dependable auto, home, business, and life insurance, as well as other insurance products. He's big enough to serve and small enough to care. His team and their unique backgrounds, trainings, and experiences have prepared them well to help meet your insurance needs. Additionally, as residents of your community, they understand how important it is to be there for you. Together, they are building strong partnerships that help everyone succeed. When it comes to your car insurance, you deserve more than a card tucked in your glove box. That's why American Family Car Insurance goes beyond a piece of paper or an app to give you smart, customized coverage and real peace of mind. No matter how your life changes, you can feel comfortable you will have the right auto insurance protection and support every step of the way. Not sure how much or what type of coverage is right for you? Michael Long is the person to talk to. Welcome back to the West Washington Senators versus the, P the Paoli Rams. Three, little over three minutes to go in the fourth quarter here. Looks like the Senators are trying to press but easily broke. Hatton will now get it near half court. Senators do trail by 11. Gonna need to get a lot of defense stops, probably force a few turnovers. Strange falling heavily, heavy defense up top. I think the Senators are trying to play he heavy defense on everybody. Now Bosley gets it inside. I thought he was going to throw down another dunk right there, but he just lays that one in. Try to get a two-hand, but Parker's there to stop it. I believe he might be up to 35 points on the game. Bowsman now goes baseline, looking for somewhere to go, kicks it out. Green with it, thought about a three. Now goes inside, puts up the shot, and it is no good. Rebounded by Bosley. Knocked away by Bowsman. He gets a steal. Bowsman with it in the corner. He goes inside on Bosley, and he just loses the ball. Now he gives it off for Hofler. Now ball's down low. Strange puts up a shot, and he got it. Senator trying to press, but it easily broke last time. They need to get someone in the corner because they're just running it up every time. Looks to be just a man-to-man -man press, and they're leaving Jake Strange back, and they're just breaking it with his man. Now ball swung into the corner. Strange guarding heavily. Now foul called on Strange. He may have been on the line on that one. I don't know. Patton taking it out. Just tosses it up to, to Bosley. Now he gets it back. Kicks it back up top for Cornette McBride. Bosley now with it. A little over two minutes to go. I don't know if the Senators will be able to make a comeback. but are going to have to start forcing a lot of turnovers here. They only have two team fouls, so fouling might not be an option. Looks like Jake may need a person to come get him. He's a little out of breath and kind of walking everywhere. Maybe. 23 no. Fleck may come in for him, maybe. Now got an intentional foul by 22 Kenton Chase, fouling 40 Roman Group. Oh, and number 23 Fleck will be actually be going in, but timeout will be called. Will be called by the Senators. Will just be a 30 second timeout. So the Senators now down by 11 points with just under two minutes to go. So they're really going to have to start forcing turnovers and making all their shots. Every possession now matters for them. They can't be missing any shots. Might even have to start putting up some threes. Only three team fouls. So they still have to foul four more times just for the Rams to even be shooting free throws. Brett Bosley is leading the Rams. And Holden Bowsman, I think, is leading the Senators. Patton will be taking it out. He gets it in the moon near half court. Now Patton with it. Hopefully all over him. Throws it down low for Bosley. Bosley turns. Three guys on him. And foul will be called on the floor. 
So it's guarded really heavily on that. Everybody that I saw and I just saw Holden, Parker, and I think Hofler. Toss it in for Bosley, gets it near the elbow. He's gonna go right, he gets a screen, loses the ball, knocked out of bounds. I don't think they really saw who saw it, who will get the ball, but they will give it off to the Senators. I don't know why they took Fleck out. Flex their pretty good rebounder, and maybe Jake just needed a little break. Number 10, Nash Huff, will be coming in for 22, Kent and Chase. Looks like they both may be coming in a both little. Sitting, both sitting after right at the end of the bench. Might need him for defense for fouling because they got to foul a lot. They don't want any of the starters to foul out right here. Green now gets a three-pointer. It's no good off front of the rim. That was a big shot right there. The Senators and really needed. 22 chase for the Senators is a pretty good defender, so they could really use him. And yep, they're both chase and Fleck are both going in for Nash Huff and Jake Strange. Let's see if Fleck can get a few rebounds. He's a pretty good rebounder. And let's see if Kenton can get a, a couple of steals because he's a pretty good defender. Chase will be on the ball here. He's guarding Rominger. Pretty pretty heavily. And oh, Fleck gets a steal. He goes inside and he throws oh, down. Oh, he throws it down. Now a press and a timeout will be called. Fleck getting the crowd hyped up. Everybody giving him high fives. God, I love that big smile on Flex's face, the big slam. We'll be a full timeout, so we're going to go to a quick commercial break and come back for the final minute 15. When you hit that water, you're going to want to look for weeds, sunken structures, down trees, stuff like that. And let that breeze tell you where you want to go. Windy days like this, those bait fish will come swimming closer to shore. They'll bring the big boys with them, those bass and those pike. And they like cooler temperatures, so... You ain't likely to have much luck. You're good at giving fishing advice. We're good at your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance. And stop knocking on wood. Welcome back to the West Washington Senators versus the Paoli Rams. 45 to 36 with a little over a minute to go. And Fleck with a little one-hand slam. Matching Bos Bosley's dunk from earlier. That's kind of just like it. Let's see if Fleck maybe get another steal or something. Fleck will be guarding the inbounder. Will be 20 Cornet McBride. Let's see if Fleck can get a steal here or does anybody get a steal? Looks like they're all going deep. Moon gets they're it. They're trapping. Now back to Cornet McBride. Gives it off to Patton. He's going to kick it all the way ahead. Now throws it, and it's going to be out of bounds. That's what the Senators needed a turnover. That may have been an alley-oop to Bosley, like, and Fleck will be going out. Maybe Fleck comes in, and Mason will throw him a lob so he can get a dunk that Bosley couldn't get. Bosley will bring it up. We'll about just a minute to go here. Senators trail by nine. Going to need to start knocking down some shots. They get it, get it out for Green. He puts up a three. And it's no good, really needed that one too. He's missed two big threes now. Out of bounds. No, oh, gonna give Senators. it to the Senators. And now they're gonna give it back to the Rams. Fleck will be coming in and Chase. Hopefully Chase may get a couple steals. Pretty good defender. And Fleck's hops are pretty good. So he may be able to get up there and get a few steals. Now we'll kick ahead now. They're going to call a foul. We'll be an and one, I think. I don't. That was not definitely not a good move right there. Chase kind of had his hand on his back the whole entire time he was up. It looks like Strange and Huff will be, I feel like, every couple of seconds. They'll every be switching possession. Out. Looks like they're trying to get Jake and Nash in there for offense. See if Nash can hit a three or Jake can get some rebounds or maybe score down low in the post. And they got Kenton and Fleck in there to play some defense. I think that Fleck may be one of the Senators' best rebounds. Rebounders, maybe. Bowsman will be bringing it up. Bowsman gets all the way to the basket, puts up a shot, and he got it to go. Kind of got in there really quick. 
I believe Bowsman's got 15. Now they get it into the middle. Ball's knocked away, and they're going to call a foul. I think that that was kind of a bad call. I think Strain really hit the ball. I don't really know about that call, but. They called it on 10 Huff, so he may have got him from behind right there. Yeah. I thought that Strange stole it. Strange got it. Or Free throw is good on the one and one. That was the seventh team foul. Just 34 seconds to go. Senators trail by 11. Might be 12 right here after this free throw. It's up and yep. good. Now a 30 second timeout will be called by the Rams. So Senators down by four possessions. That would be four threes with it just over half a minute to go, so will be very, very challenging to come back right now, but anything is possible, so. Brett, Brett Bosley definitely having the best game for the Rams. Maybe of his season, maybe. Rams coach is probably just telling them not to foul. I believe Bosley's up to 36 points on the game. Has more points than the whole entire team does. Bowser will now bring it up. Now we'll Bowser see. try to make some moves. Bowser goes right. He's going to try to get the basket. Parker Green shoots a three. It's no good in air ball. Bosley with the rebound. They're just trying to hold the ball. It looks like looks like the Senators are not really forcing anything. So that will be the end of the game where the Paoli Rams will take this one 50 to 38 with Brett Bosley putting on a show, putting up about 36 points and a nice dunk, but Senators didn't play too bad. I thought that flex dunk may have got him going. Yep. So That'll be it, and we'd like to thank you all for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.